now we will discuss about the atom the smallest particle of any element which can take part freely in the chemical reaction is known as atom now we can take an example of h2 and o2 when h2 react with o2 it gives h2 o now we can balance it here two atom of hydrogen present in one molecule of hydrogen and here also two atom of hydrogen present in one molecule of water but here two atom of oxygen present in one molecule of oxygen but here is one so we can write two in front of s2 now the oxygen in s2 will be two and the hydrogen in s2 will be four now we can balance hydrogen by writing two. Now this equation is balanced. Four hydrogen present is here, and four hydrogen also present are here. Now two oxygen present here, and two oxygen also present here. Graphically, we can represent it by this circle. This is one atom of hydrogen, and this is another atom of hydrogen and we use two molecule of hydrogen so this one one atom of hydrogen and this one second atom of hydrogen this is totally one molecule of hydrogen and this is another molecule of hydrogen and we can represent O2 by this this is one atom of oxygen and this is another atom of oxygen and this is all one molecule of oxygen. Now we have two of S2 molecule present is here. So we can write this. This is one atom of hydrogen. This is one atom of oxygen. This is also one atom of hydrogen. And this is one molecule of S2. And this is one atom of hydrogen. And this is one atom of oxygen. And this is one atom of Hydrogens and this is also molecule of H2. Now we can say that in this reaction, two atom of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen participated, and this is one molecule of H2 will be formed, and this is another two atom of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen react with each other and form one another molecule of S2. Now we can say that uh, the smallest unit which take part in this reaction of hydrogen is this atom and smallest unit of oxygen which take part in this reaction is this is and this is oxygen atom and now this is a molecule of S2 and the smallest unit of this is these atoms. Now we can say that atom is the smallest particle of any element which can take part freely in chemical reaction. Some notes present here. First one is the size of an atom is indicated by its radius called atomic radius. Atomic radius. As we know, we consider atom as a sphere. So the distance between center and point on periphery is known as radius of a sphere. So this is a, a atom and now we can say this is a atomic radius.
now we can say that if radius increases then also size of atom increases so we can represent the size of atom by its radius second point is atomic radius is measured in nanometer this is an nanometer and we can represent nanometer by nm one nanometer equal to 10 is to power minus 9 meter as you know one angstrom is equal to 10 is to power minus 10 meter now we can conclude by this that one nanometer equal to 10 angstrom now we can say that uh, we can also represent uh, radius by angstrom and third note is hydrogen atom is the smallest atom of all having atomic radius 0 0.037 nanometer or 0 0.37 angstrom hydrogen hydrogen have atomic radius 0 0.037 nanometer or 0 0.37 angstrom it means hydrogen is smallest atom now we will discuss about the symbol of element now we will discuss about the symbol of element symbol a symbol is a shorthand notation of an element which can be represented by a sketch or a letter symbol is a presentation of any element by sketch or letters Dalton used the graphical representation or sketch as a symbol of elements. Dalton used graphical representation or sketches for representation of symbol. Now we can take an example. Dalton use symbol this for hydrogen and for carbon he used this symbol. But these symbols were very difficult or inconvenient to draw. System of representing an element. JJ Bergerius. Represent the post modern system of representing an element. According to this, 
the symbol of element can be represented by first letter or by first letter and another letter of an element now we can take some examples the first one is hydrogen Berzelius used first letter of hydrogen H for denotation of hydrogen In case of oxygen Berzelius used O the first letter of oxygen to represent the symbol of oxygen and like this for nitrogen used N the first letter of the English name of nitrogen now we can take some examples in which use second or another letter of the name of element now calcium Berzelius used the first letter of calcium C and another letter A for calcium and for chlorine he used C first letter of its English name and the second one is L and for magnesium used first letter of magnesium M and then another G now we can take some other examples in which he used Latin language language name of some elements element now we can write the table element latin name and symbol first one is sodium the latin name of sodium is natrium first letter is n and another a now we can represent sodium by Na and another example copper the latin name of copper is cuprum now we can take first letter of cuprum and second letter u and we can represent copper by Cu now we can take example of potassium the latin name of potassium is calium the first letter of calium is k and now we present calium means potassium by k there is lot of example in which Berzelius used first or another letter of any name of element